this area is steeped in history and also in royal history as well. But to actually have one of the immediate royal family to come and officially open this school today is an absolute privilege. Well, it was just a really tremendous day for all the students and the staff at the academy. Um, to have a member of the royal family come to visit us was something that we remember forever, I suppose. Um, she was such uh, a lovely person to have speaking with the primary students who came and also the students at Charles Reed Academy and she showed a real empathy with them and, and talked to them so openly that it was just a, a real joy to, to be around. I've been here since year seven and you know I've, I've really enjoyed my time here and it was a shame when they announced it was going to be closed and I was really happy that Mr Ross very kindly took the school over and as soon as he's taken over the school's just got better and better. We were keen to, to show off a number of areas that we feel are our strengths, particularly the sport and enrichment side of the academy that, that goes on here every day. And we had Christian Malcolm, the uh, Olympic and Commonwealth sprinter here, training our students. These are just normal things that happen at Charles Reed. I think sport is vital. You know, I think what I, th I think what sporting does, it teaches you how to to win and lose. You know, and as we know that life is not easy, life is fun, but it's not easy at the same time. Um, and I think what sport does is teach you how to come back from setbacks, um, hardships, also teach you how to work in a team environment, which, which you need to do in life. She was really nice and it just seemed really supportive that she came. I was surprised because I didn't think she would be um, into sport, but she was good. I coached her a little bit and I think it's a sport that um, uh, she should take up because it's really good. I thought the day was really great. I didn't think it could get any better. We went into a little valley, then the game. And yeah, I just beat her. They have very much improved the sport. So there's so there's way more equipment than what there was, more modern, better condition. So it has improved. To actually go in some of the, the more academic lessons, which is an area that we're really focusing on, and, and things are improving there. They've really helped the school. They've uh, invested quite a bit of time into uh, retrieving uh, a Chromebook, which is a bit like a mini laptop, so that all the students can do their homework. Uh, at school and they have these accounts online where we can also do it at home and continue on with what we've done in class and it has helped the learning. It's quite that he's funded the school and got new equipment and opportunities for new students joining the school. I think that the, the breadth and the depth of what the school is and what it has become I think is, is a, it's just a great testimony to the, to the staff and the students and felt like everybody was behind today which is what makes it work, it is an absolute team effort. I thought it was nice that so she came over to see us and different people and actually get to talk to us. And she seems like really interested in us and about the school and it's really nice. The land-based studies GCSE that we run here at Charles Reed Academy can be um, taught in a classroom but fortunately due to the great spaces we've got and the dedication of the staff that run the course we've actually got a real superb facility for um, growing plants and looking after the small animals. To be able to come and study land-based studies is an absolute boost for not only for the community but also for the students. It's been an absolutely super day. Um, I feel that everybody's spirits have lifted. I think it's really put Charles Reed on the map. Um, I hope everybody's going away with the message that we're here to stay. And uh, there's been changes in the academy already, but there's more to come, so I'm really excited about that. It was a really good experience, and it was nice to talk to someone who understands about the difficulties of secondary school and stuff. It was nice that she managed to speak to the kids and more of the older people and it was just really good and fun. It was unreal, it didn't really um, hit until uh, like until she was actually here. It's been an absolutely like, fantastic day and like, as soon as she got out of the car she like, looked really stunning and right from the moment when we was talking to her and everything, it's just been a fantastic day. There is no doubt this area and this school and this community are going to go from strength to strength.